Welcome back, today we talk about immune cells. Immune cells, WBCs, leukocytes. Classification of immune cells. They are classified according to either. 1. Origin. 2. Morphology. 3. Type of immune response. According to the origin. Myeloid cells. They are the cells derived from bone marrow. They are. 1. Granulocytes. 2. Monocytes, macrophages. Lymphoid cells. They are the cells derived from lymph tissues. They are lymphocytes, T and B cells. Cells of innate immunity. 1. Granulocytes. Neutropils, PMNs. Eosinophils. Basophils, mast cells. Neutrophils, polymorph nuclear leukocytes, PMNs. The most abundant leukocytes. They are released rapidly into the circulation in response to bacterial infection. However, they remain only for few hours then migrate into tissues killing bacteria and die within 1-2 days forming pus. They have shorter lifespan compared to macrophages. Functions 1. They are phagocytic cells, but if larger antigen they perform extracellular killing. 2. Antigen presentation 2. Monocytes slash comma macrophages Originate from myeloid precursor cell in the bone marrow exist in the blood as monocytes and in tissues as macrophages monocytes migrate from the bloodstream to other tissues and differentiate into tissue resident macrophages macrophages are named according to the organ for example in skin langerhans cells in connective tissue histiocytes in liver cupifer cells monocytes can survive up to two days in the circulation while macrophages may live on for months in the tissues an important link between the innate and the acquired immune mechanisms. Functions, they are phagocytic cells. 1. Microbial killing, as neutrophils, but macrophages have longer lifespan than neutrophils, so are more seen in chronic infections forming granulomas. Dot. 2. ADCC, antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity, kill antibody-coated cells without engulfing them. 3 antigen presentation to lymphocytes. 4. Tissue surveillance to survey constantly any signs of damage. 5. Tissue scavenger that clears away any remnants of tissue damage. Monocytosis, occur in cases of chronic infections and granulomatous diseases. Cells of acquired immunity. Characteristics of lymphocytes. They are more specific cells that are specialized against certain antigens. At second exposure to the same antigen more rapid and effective response evolves due to formation of memory cells providing lifelong immunity. When lymphocytes meet an antigen for the first time, they proliferate and differentiate into effector cells and memory cells. More characteristics of lymphocytes. Lymphocytes pass through stages of education to recognize and eliminate foreign non-self antigens, while not attacking self antigens, tolerance, only B lymphocytes continue their development in the bone marrow, while immature T cells travel to the thymus to continue their development. 1. B lymphocytes. The B lymphocyte passes through the following steps. A. It is synthesized and educated in the bone marrow. B. Then it is released in the circulation in the form of naive B lymphocyte. C. B cells migrate to the secondary lymphoid organs, lymph nodes, spleen, mucosa-associated lymphoid tissues. D. When the membrane receptors recognize a foreign antigen, AG, the naive B lymphocyte is activated, divides repeatedly and differentiates within five days into plasma cells and memory cells. I. Plasma cells secrete specific immunoglobulin proteins called antibodies. They are secreted in the bloodstream to defend against the attack. 2. Memory cells remain to provide lifelong immunity against the same act. Antibodies. They are Y-shaped proteins having a constant region and a variable region. The shape of the variable region differs to complement the shape of the AG it binds to. Types of antibodies, IG IGA I'm IGA IG. 1. IG, the major IG in serum. More common in chronic infections. Crosses the placenta providing the fetus immunity. 2. 
Iga, the major class of Igs in secretions, tears, saliva and mucus. 3. I'm, the first Ig secreted after infection, so it is more commonly seen in acute infections. 4. Ig, binds to receptors on eosinophils, basophils and mast cells, stimulating them to degranulate and start inflammatory reaction. It increases in cases of parasitic infections and allergy. 5. Igd, bound membrane of unstimulated B cells. Acts as recognition receptor for antigens. Functions of antibodies. 1. Bind to antigens, so neutralize them and prevent their binding to body cells. 2. Activate other immune cells. 3. Activate complement cascade, Ig and I. 4. Opsonization. Antibodies circulate in blood and act on extracellular proteins, so, it is a main part of the humoral immunity. So, B lymphocytes increase in cases of bacterial and fungal infections, autoimmune diseases, where autoantibodies attack self antigens. 2. D lymphocytes. Produced from the bone marrow and educated in the thymus. T cell education. T cells are educated to recognize major histocompatibility complex I, MHCI. Then, T cells are tested in the thymus. A, those T cells that attack self cells are either killed, apoptosis, or silenced, energy. B, T cells which recognize foreign antigens on MHCI of cells are T cytotoxic cells, CD8 plus, C, T. Cells that bind to foreign antigens on MHC2 are T helper cells, CD4+. After maturation, T cells migrate to the secondary lymphoid organs, lymph nodes, spleen, mucous-associated lymphoid tissues as tonsils and adenoids, where they interact with microorganisms and get activated. Consequently, neutrophilia. In cases of bacterial or fungal infections, Severe destructive infections may cause neutropenia with increase in band cells. Eosinophilia, in cases of parasitic infections or allergy. Basophilia, in cases of allergy. Monocytosis, occur in cases of chronic infections and granulomatous diseases. T cells increase in cases of viral infections, tumors, chronic inflammation. So, Summary of process of immune response 1. The immune response starts by innate immunity defending against a microbe. Neutrophils followed by macrophages invade the affected tissue performing a phagocytosis b extracellular killing 2. Innate immunity provides early danger signals to adaptive immunity a antigen presentation o mhc2 to t helper cells BT cells release chemotactic factors. C the foreign antigen is carried to the two Ri lymphoid organs, as lymph nodes. 3. In the two Ri lymphoid organs, naive lymphocytes get activated. A. T cells are activated too. O effector T cells, migrate to the site of injury to react to infection directly. O memory T cells that stay in the two Ri lymphoid organs to provide lifelong immunity to this antigen. B. B cells are activated too. O plasma cells, secrete antibodies in the bloodstream to bind to the antigen and combat the infection. O memory B cells that stay in the two Ri lymphoid organs to provide lifelong immunity to this antigen. 4. Antibodies. A bind to the antigen neutralizing it. B act as opsonins, activating phagocytosis by cells of innate immunity. C activate ADCC by cells of adaptive immunity. Deactivate complement system. So, adaptive immune cells become activated and send signals to reactivate innate immunity making them more capable to clear the infection. 5. The process goes on to activate and reactivate forming a positive feedback. But it also has control mechanisms to prevent excessive activation and pathologic reactions. Now, after learning all the components of the immune system, what are the components do you expect to find in the oral cavity? 1. Barrier. By the oral mucosa. 2. Saliva. A. Lubricates the oral mucosa ensuring its integrity. B. Contains antibodies, ega, antimicrobial defense. So, in case of hyposalivation. I. 
mucosal ulceration. 2. Oral candidosis. 3. Rampant caries. 3. Immune cells. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, support us by like subscribes.